Hello guys, welcome back to another week here on my page. Uh, I'm trying to learn the claw hammer banjo steel and we're working on it. Uh, this week has been a, a uh, uh, not a difficult week, but this week has been, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to be honest with you uh, to devote to a, a video for this and that's why it's actually coming out late. I, I, I wanted to get one out yesterday and it didn't happen. So, uh, and with all that going on this week, I haven't had a whole lot of time to, to dedicate practice, but I have practiced some. <laughs> Not as much as I needed to, but I've practiced. That's the uh, song we learned uh, a couple weeks ago that we've been working on for a while. I uh, started on Little Birdie here and uh, we're kind of... Uh, This is the same one that that loops that we was talking about last week but it moves you more up and down um up and down on the fretboard to your upper and lower strings um so just a little bit more in depth i guess you could say I get the gist of it there it's, uh, of the uh, what's going on and it's just going to take a lot of practice to uh, to get that down which I've practiced some on it like I said this week not nearly as much as I've wanted to uh, but that's kind of where I'm at on my progression right now it don't sound good at all <laughs> uh, anyways that's where I'm at this week guys this probably won't be a very uh, lengthy video. My next couple videos, uh, I'm gonna go more in depth into. I think the next one for next week, uh, I'm gonna change the strings on this. I still haven't gotten to change my strings, and I need to. That's what I want to do this week. I'm gonna make a video of of changing strings on this thing. Uh, as far as everything else goes, I think it's in pretty decent That's where shape we're at right now. We're still practicing, working on this song. We're gonna get a little birdie down and going about it. Uh, something I've been meaning to say, and I can't remember if I've said it in the other videos. I had somebody ask me, and I forgot to try to answer this question, is what, what is my goal right now? Like what is not, you know, the end goal of being a great claw hammer banjo player, but uh, like my short term goal, but where I'm trying to reach to. And to be honest with you right now, I wanna get to where uh, I can play Foggy Mountain Breakdown on the claw hammer style banjo um, and play it. That's, that's my, my short long term goal right now. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take me to get there. It's probably be probably be a while, uh, especially teaching myself. But that is my main goal right now, uh, long term. I want to get to Foggy Mountain Breakdown and learn how to play it. Uh, short term goals, uh, really, just to get through this book, uh, mainly and really going over each lesson uh, and doing the lessons the best I can, uh, and not trying to. I don't want to try to speed through uh, this process because I know from from experience that. If I try to speed through something, it's going to cost me in the long run. To where if I go slow right now and try to correct my mistakes as I notice them, it's a lot easier in the future to uh, not make those mistakes. And so, but that's where I'm at. Oh, another uh, uh, another goal of mine, and this is a stupid goal. <laughs> it's just in me in my head. Uh, but I want to wear this right here out. I want to wear this down. I want to wear this down to, I want to wear all the paint off that right there. Um, and the bottom side too. The bottom side I ain't got as much on, but the top side right here where my thumb hits, uh, I want to wear that off right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that's a stupid goal, but that's my goal. I want to practice enough to do that.
So anyways, guys, that's where I'm at in my, in my process right now of learning the banjo, the claw hammer style. Uh, I'm gonna keep practicing, like I say, every week. And we're gonna put out a video every week and we're gonna see where we're at. Hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, by, I don't know, maybe uh, the first quarter of next year, I'm hoping by March or April, I'm hoping if I put enough time and practice into it every week um, that I can get to Foggy Mountain Breakdown by Mar March or April, that's my goal. I don't know that I'm going to reach it. I ain't going to speed to try to get there by that. If I don't hit it, I don't. Uh, but that's what I'm going to work on. Um, also, somebody asked me the other day with my three finger style banjo and my this claw hammer style banjo and my guitar, how much time do I devote to practicing each one? Do I practice them all at the same time? Uh, do I put too much so much time on each one? Uh, my three finger style banjo, I pick it up about three times a week. And like I told you before, there's there's some songs that I'm working on uh, learning for it right now that I'm just going to put up standalone videos on this channel with that three-finger style banjo. But I pick it up about three times a week, and I'll practice it those three times, maybe um, for an hour to an hour and a half each night, each time I pick it up. Uh, this thing, I'm religiously picking it up every day for an hour uh, and going over it for an hour every day. Uh, my guitar, probably twice a week, maybe. Uh, maybe twice a week. On the, uh, the days that I'm not doing my three string, I'll pick up the guitar and maybe pick out a song or two on it. So uh, that's kind of how my how my time is is used on practicing all these instruments. I ain't saying I get that in every week, but that's the goal starting the week. And then sometimes it works out and sometimes it don't. Guys, with that being said, thank you all so much for stopping by. Thank you for all my new subscribers to this channel. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. It means a lot to me uh, when I look on and I see some uh, new subscribers. Uh, people that may be interested in, in learning the banjo or the maybe people that already know how to play the banjo 10 times better than I'll ever even think about knowing how to play it, which is awesome. Uh, thank you, each and every one of you all. Guys, with that being said, we're going to go into the next week. And uh, like I said, next week will be probably changing the strings. I may, depends on how much progress I make on the song, I may put a little bit of playing the song in it next week as well. Maybe change the strings at first. And we can, maybe we'll do that. Maybe that's what we'll do next week. We will... Uh, we'll start the video and I'll play it with these strings on here and then we'll film changing the strings and then we'll play it afterwards and we'll see if we can notice a difference. That sounds phenomenal. Just now thought of that. That's what we'll do. Guys, we'll see y'all next week.